sausage, black olives, Canadian bacon, extra sauce. Other people put themselves to sleep by counting sheep. I count pizza toppings. I see pineapple, more sausage. <laughs> huh? The mailman's here? Uh-huh. Thanks for the alert, boy, but I've decided to take the afternoon off. No mailman annoying for me today. Extra cheese, extra, extra cheese, extra, extra, extra cheese. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, that's right, Agnes, the house with the cat. I'm delivering there now. If I don't see you again, remember I loved you. Hold on. This is the dangerous part where I push the doorbell. <laughs> I'll get it! Agnes, I may be okay. I hear Mr. Arbuckle coming. Hello, Mr. Arbuckle. I have some letters for... What are you doing scaring me like that? John's taking up mime. You don't know what mime is? I figured you wouldn't. Here, I had them prepare this brief educational video to explain it. Mime is an ancient form of acting that does not use words or speech and which dates back to ancient Greece in the 5th century BC. It is an art in which you convey a message through your actions and expression. A mime never speaks directly to the audience. Instead, he or she relies on the power of imagination. Now, take a cue from John and don't say anything for the next week or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. You got fed up with the cat and you're running away to join the circus. What? Do I want a cup of coffee? Yes! You got it exactly right! Oh, man, I'm good! I'm really good! I've been taking mime classes for the last three months, and now I'm testing my miming abilities on people. Ah, well, here's your mail. Is that a bill from the Prime Rib of the Month Club? I don't want us getting kicked out. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Arbuckle, our mime school has elected you Student of the Year. What? We have chosen you to represent us at the World Mime Championship that will take place in Paris, France, home of the greatest mimes of all time. Garfield! Odie! I'm going to go to France and win this contest as the world's greatest mime! <laughs> and to really get in practice, I'm going to live my life in mime. I won't say another word until the competition. <laughs> Not sure why, Odie, but I have a feeling we're in big trouble. <laughs> He's miming everything. He's doing an imaginary drawing with an imaginary pencil. And guess what? At the end of the week, John's boss is gonna send him an imaginary paycheck. <laughs> and now he's making us an imaginary dinner. Huh? Oh, great. Imaginary lasagna again. Oh. We haven't had a meal with actual food in it for days. Does he think anyone would be stupid enough to go along with this? Enough already! Your cat is fed up with not being fed up. Odie. Give me the menu for Vito's. Here. Right. That's right. Dial a phone. I'd do it myself, but I'm too weak from hunger. Uh -huh. Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello? Is uh, anybody there? <laughs> I guess there's no one there. 
Fortunately, I plan for an emergency of this sort. <laughs> A few months ago, I recorded one of John's better orders. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. How may I help you? Vito, this is John Arbuckle. Please send me enough food to feed my cat. Ah, Senor Arbuckle. I will be right over as soon as I can borrow a large truck. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh. Huh? Buongiorno. Here is your bill, Senor Arbuckle. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Pay him in large bills, it's faster. He's paying him in imaginary money. Uh, please, uh, Senor Arbuckle, pay me for the food so I can get back to my restaurant. Eh? Is that supposed to be the tip? But Vito will not put up with it. If you do not pay, you do not get my wonderful food. Oh. No, wait, wait. Can't you take an imaginary credit card or something? Oh. If John doesn't give up this mime stuff, he's gonna have a couple of imaginary pets. John's mowing the front lawn with an imaginary lawnmower. There you are, John Arbuckle. Where have you been for the last two weeks? Why haven't you been answering your phone? I keep calling here and someone answers, but no one ever says anything. Oh, student of the year? World Mime Championship? You've been studying mime? You're going to France for this contest? Well, good luck. Who's your partner? <coughs> Not your partner. It says here, all contestants must be duets. Two mimes in a team. You didn't read the back of the letter? You don't have a partner? And the contest is day after tomorrow. Where are you gonna find a partner who can do great mime? <laughs> Oh, no, not me. No chance. No way. I don't think Garfield wants to do it, and that's too bad, huh? <laughs> Would have been nice to win that big cash prize. Yeah, big cash prize. I guess you didn't read this part. It says the winner receives... Oh, wow. That's enough money to keep Garfield in lasagna for a year. Excuse me one moment, please. <laughs> Looks like you've got yourself a partner. How long have they been like this? One hour and thirty-seven minutes. Oh, what is the name of their act again? The meaning of life. <laughs> life is apparently very boring. The next contestant is Jean Arbuckle and his cat Garfield. They will perform the famous mirror sketch. Oh, 
was brilliant. The best I have ever seen. Let us give him the trophy right now. Congratulations. You are the winners. The finest mimes in all the world. You shall receive the large cash prize. Wow. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> he, he spoke. Contestants are not allowed to speak. The rules are quite strict. If you speak, and you did, you are disqualified. D -d -d disqualified? Oh. Oh, oh. No large cash prize for you. Ushers, remove them from the stage at once. No, that's not fair. I only spoke after the performance. That doesn't count. I protest. I protest. When I need him to order pasta, he doesn't say a word. Now he talks. Dinner? She's a coming right oh. up, my friends. Oh, great, huh? Pookie. It's supper time. A personal sized pizza for Signore Arbuckle. A oh. puppy dog sized pizza for Signore Puppy Dog. And Garfield sized pizza for Signore Garfield. Oh. Hey, I distinctly recall ordering a large. Oh, oh well. Bon appetit, Pookie, my gastronomic friend. Huh. Look at that yummy, cool yummy, teddy yummy. bear, Dad. <laughs> Eat your pizza before it gets cold, Jack. <sighs> oh, that was a nice, tasty pizza. On the small side, but tasty. Oh, what a shame, Pookie. You haven't touched your pizza. Well, we can't let it go to waste now, can we? <laughs> Boy, Dad, that's the neatest looking teddy bear I ever saw. I wish I had one like that. Really? You think other kids would want one? Sure. What's that, Pookie? Oh, now you're hungry. Well, I guess we'll just have to order another pizza then. Oh. Hey, I remember you. Arbuckle, right? How much for the teddy bear? Uh, I'm sorry? The teddy bear. I want to buy it. Oh. What? Uh, no, you can't have Pookie. No, 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 no. Not for all the lasagna in Italy. I'm sorry, Mr. Allwork. My cat oh. loves Pookie. And, huh? well, I just can't take him away because your son wants him. I don't want to keep it, Arbuckle. I'm CEO of Allwork Toys, a very large company. I want to make duplicates of it and sell them around the world. Here's how much I'll give you as an advance. Huh? Are you allowed to have that many numbers on one check? Oh! Mr. Allwork, you have a deal. Pookie is going to be a bestseller, Arbuckle. You and I are going to make a bundle. Hear that, Pookie? I always knew you were destined for greatness. What's that? You want to celebrate with five more pizzas? Well, if you insist. We'll have that duplicated and returned to you in no time. Take good care of him. Oh! <laughs> 
Beast, the original. What did you call him, Pookie? Well, we measured and studied every bit of him. <laughs> Here is the duplicate prototype we have created. He's... he's perfect! No, it know. isn't. Kids today have computers. They want high-tech, state-of-the-art. Does take the original back to Arbuckle? <laughs> Professor, I want you to upgrade and improve this toy. You know what to do. Indeedy I do. I shall give you the teddy bear of the future. And sales of the new toy known as Robo Pookie are setting new oh, records. Right? They just went on sale this morning and already thousands have been sold. I'm going to be rich! <laughs> and I'm going to be even richer. I bought commercial time in this news broadcast. Oh, Fluffy, why do you just sit there all day and do nothing? Are your children bored with their teddy bears? I sure am! Well, here comes the teddy bear of the future, Robo Pookie. Huh? Robo Pookie can sing, dance, exercise, play games, clean your room, and speak 17 yeah. languages. <laughs> Robo Pookie is the best nanny ever. And so the princess married the elevator repairman, and the roof happily ever after. Good night. I don't think you should see this. Robo Pookie is your child's very own private entertainer. You definitely shouldn't see this. Stay in here until this is all over. To be or not to be? That is the question. Yay! That's Robo Pookie, coming soon to a store near you. You're gonna love me and buy me. Whoa! This is awesome, Mr. Allwork. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the original Pookie. Does. Let him have the one I brought. Here you are, sir. Huh? Hi, I'm Robo Pookie. Who wants to play with me? <laughs> Two playmates with one brain between them. And it takes batteries. <laughs> I've had enough of this I imposter. I to order something. The nerve of trying to improve on the real Pookie. Except no substitutes. Each one has a computer chip to download software updates and to communicate with other Robo Pookies. It's great, Mr. Ulwark. I can't imagine how anything could go wrong. No, you're not! Go away! Sorry, I was just trying to help! Huh? Who is that? Huh? Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's 4 hours 6 a.m. in New Delhi, India. It's 2 36 in the afternoon! Would you like your finger paint? I just want to entertain you! <laughs> In here, he won't find us. No huh? way! No, no, this is the real one, the good one, the one who doesn't do anything. Pick a card! Any card! Yeah! Leave us alone. Let us sleep. But I am your friend. I just want to help you and entertain you. <gasps> he looks just like me. Huh? He is. I salute you, a worthy forebear. I kiss <gasps> your feet in respect. I've been trying to get people to treat me like that for years. I will follow the wishes of the grand forebear. Great. 
The Grand Forebear says he wants you to let us get some sleep. As you wish. I shall remain here and bask in the greatness of the Grand Forebear. Fine. You stay there and bask while we go back to bed. I cannot keep your glory all to myself. Attention, fellow Robopokies. I have found the Grand Forebear. Repeat. I have found the Grand Forebear. Robopookies of the world, use your global positioning system to track the location of my transmission! Huh? Uh, it's 5 a.m. Who's ringing the doorbell at this hour? We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! We are here to pay our respects to the Grand Forebear! to the cat. Oh. Attention, my subjects. I command you all to follow me and the handsome cat. Ah. Repeat, follow me and the handsome cat. Do you understand? Yes, a glorious morning. I got a call that a lot of Robo Pookies were being returned to my factory. But Dad, don't toys you make get returned all the time? Yes, but usually they don't march in by themselves. <laughs> They're all coming back! Every one of them! Every one of them that we made and sold, I'm going to have to give refunds on every one of them. Does that mean I'm not rich? You'll be lucky if you can afford a yo-yo. Huh? I, I should never have gotten into this pookie business. I like mine. That's the prototype we made, the one that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm glad I have it. Why? What do you do with it? I don't know. Just love it, I guess. <laughs> well... At least I made one kid happy. And I guess I realized what I love about Pookie. He's a lot like me. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Idea that I like hot dogs. Another one. I'm sorry, pal. I'm a lot of hot dogs. Here's your bill. Here's my wallet. Garfield, I said we could stop for a light snack. 
244 hot dogs is not a light snack. Here you are if you leave off the chili. Good afternoon, Mr. Edge. I keep telling you, Joe, call me Tyler. I'll have the usual. <sighs> Did that man say he was Tyler Edge? I didn't hear a word after sorry, I'm all out of hot dogs. <laughs> Here you go, one six sausage sandwich. Thanks. Mr. Edge, Tyler, I don't have change of a thousand dollar bill. Keep the change. Buy yourself a house. <laughs> yeah. That is Tyler Edge. I didn't hear a word after six sausage sandwich. Oh. Mm. Mm. Cartoonist, huh? <laughs> oh. What are you drawing? <laughs> oh, nothing really. I'm kind of doodling, you know, looking for a new comic strip character. You're Tyler Edge, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm not Tyler Edge. Mm. I'm the Tyler Edge. <laughs> Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Hmm. That name sounds familiar. Odie, do you know who Tyler Edge is? Of course not. You never know anything. Wait here. Hey. Oh, sorry, I need to borrow your computer for a second. Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge, Tyler Edge. Ah, here we are. Tyler Edge made his first zillion dollars when he was 16 years old. He quickly built the world's largest empire of video games, cartoon shows, comic books, and major motion pictures. They call him the man who knows exactly what today's young audiences want to buy. Thanks. I just had to look that up. The way you draw is kind of interesting. Tell you what, what did you say your name was? John Arbuckle. Oh, not a good name. But okay, tell you what, bring me a concept, and if I think today's audience will go for it, I'll make you a very rich man. Huh? Ooh, I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Oh. Mm. Guys, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I want to go right home and go to work. Okay, but on the way home, could we stop for more hot dogs? I'm thinking maybe a college student who gets stung by a spider and develops spider abilities. Nah, no one would ever read a comic book like that. Huh? John is having this thing called writer's block. Do you know what writer's block is, Odie? It's when you stare stupidly at a blank page for days and forget to feed your adorable pets. No. <laughs> A gerbil. A crime-fighting gerbil. No, no, a horse. A and set in the Stone Age. <laughs> no, two horses and a sailor. And the sailor's a robot! <laughs> and they're all fish. <laughs> and radioactive! It's been done. <laughs> I'm a failure! A failure! I can't come up with any new, fresh ideas! <laughs> come on, Odie. Let's give him a new, fresh idea. <laughs> Why? Us, of course. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I get it. You think I should drop a comic book about you guys? The man is clear on the concept. Oh, it would never work. A comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day? And a dog with a long tongue? <laughs> Who would ever be interested in something like that? If I took an idea like that to Tyler Edge, he'd throw me right out of his... I give you one tip. Draw and write what you know. Huh? What you know? Ah. <laughs> I could do a comic about a cat who eats lasagna and sleeps all day. Yes. And a puppy with a long tongue that fetches sticks all the time. Yes. And I could set it in the future and make you both zombie penguins. No. <laughs> You're right. No zombie penguins. This is the greatest idea in the world. And I have so much material for it. Thank you for agreeing to look at my idea. I hope you like it. If I like it, the world will like it. Lay it on me. Huh? Well, it's about a fat orange cat. Hey. 
And uh, there's a <laughs> pea brain puppy. Here are some drawings I did. They're on paper. Well, yeah, drawings are usually on paper. I can't relate to paper, <gasps> Arbuckle. I have to see Ooh. things animated. Let's go to my animation department. Huh? <sighs> oh, you mean you're going to have your team of animators animate my comic strip? <laughs> That's fantastic! Team of animators? Don't be ridiculous. Huh? We got rid of animators years ago. It's all done by computers now. Why pay people to sit and draw all day? Can you believe it, guys? You're going to be animated! Us? Cartoon characters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. We're working on having the computer create a solid hologram of a character. But that's in the future. Ooh. Right now, it's building computer models based on your drawings. Oh. <laughs> All right, done. Now let's see what an episode might look like. No, I will not go through the stick so you can fit. Boring! I think it's pretty good. <laughs> well, that's because you aren't me. First thing, the color of the cat is all wrong. <laughs> Maybe blue or beige or... Hey, polka dots are popular. They look like I have measles. Wait, wait, pink. Whoa. Whoa. Pink is very big this year. I'm hearing they may even make the sky pink. Do you think Garfield oh. should be pink like that and... I like it. I like it. <sighs> now we have to do something about that voice of his. I want some lasagna. Eh, it doesn't fit him. I'll try some different ones. Here. I want some lasagna. 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 But I know what we need. A celebrity voice. I thought I was a celebrity. It's very popular these days. Animated characters voiced by movie stars. I'll be back for more lasagna. I'm starting to really not like this. Well, okay. Now, what about Odie? Huh? I'm thinking let's lose the dog. <laughs> Hasta la vista, Odie. <laughs> but, but Odie is an important part of the idea. Uh, nobody wants to see dogs. How many hit cartoon shows can you name that have a dog? <laughs> All of them. For that matter, I'm not so sure about a cat. <laughs> No, 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 I don't think so. Wrong, definitely not. Maybe a cat, but a, a different design. Couldn't we just let Garfield be Garfield? Wait, <gasps> I have it. I have it, Arbuckle. The most awesome today vision. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Is right. Tyler. What is it? What is it, Arbuckle? It's the idea that's gonna make me another jillion dollars and you a couple of bucks. I think I'll take my idea somewhere else. Yay, John. Wait, you can't leave. You're not getting my full vision. Here, here, I'll create a solid hologram of them to show you. I thought you said that process wasn't perfected. <laughs> well, it isn't, but I have to make you see what I see. See? See how awesome it is? <gasps> no! It's horrible! Get rid of it! Get rid of me? I get rid of you! Get out of here!
Is he gone? He destroyed the computer that projected his hologram. You'll never see him again. Good. From the neck down, he was pretty ugly. My entire computer animation department is destroyed. It'll take like years to rebuild it. What'll I do till then? Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe hire some human beings who know how to draw? You just might be onto something, Arbuckle. <laughs> Lucky my drawing survived. I'm going to go look for someone who will like my idea enough to keep it the way it is. Well, good luck, but I think you're wasting your time. What do you think, guys? Oh, I don't know. Odie, do you think anyone would watch a cartoon show about a cat that eats lasagna and a puppy with a long tongue? Yeah, me neither. So myself, and I often do. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Good. The detour sign's in place. Let's hide. <gasps> this way to enter contest for cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Well, that's moi. I didn't know about this contest, but I'll win it. I always do. <laughs> That's not funny, Garfield. Of course it's funny. It's just not funny to you. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't funny. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks like someone needs a bath. Yes, yes they we do. do. Stop sulking, Garfield. I know you don't like taking a bath. That's not true. I bathe once a year whether I need it or not. Oh, that must be Liz calling. Here, I'll leave you the loofah so you can scrub yourselves while I'm gone. Nah, this isn't so bad. Especially since I have my toy boat and my wind-up shark. Help! Shark! Shark! <laughs> I like this cool rubber mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odie. Just trying to amuse myself. Taking a bath is so boring. That's because you don't know how to make it interesting. Make up a story. Make up a story. How do you do that? I'll show you. Want to play, Odie? <gasps> then follow me. <gasps> wow. Is it like this at the bottom of every bathtub? It is if you use your imagination. Or even better if you have your own cartoon show. This is so cool. <laughs> hey, Garfield, how come we can breathe and talk underwater? It's my fantasy, so I make up the laws of science. Hey, come on, let's check out the surface. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't. You see, the trouble with bubbles is... Might as well join them. Hey, 
Recognize that boat coming towards us? Huh? It looks just like your toy boat. The one that came with the... Start paddling. Faster, faster. Whoa, look, we're not going fast enough because we're too heavy in the water. Get rid of any non essential items. Good idea. Yeah. It's a fantasy. And anyway, that's a toy shark. You wind him up, and he's only good for about 15 seconds. Ah, uh, sorry to be a bother, but could someone wind me up again? Ah! Will you leave us alone if we do? Well, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Thanks! You're welcome. <sighs> You're lucky that thing doesn't run on alkaline batteries. Well, okay, Garfield. Huh? This is your fantasy. What's next? Mm. What? <laughs> mm. Looks like flying fish. What? what? Hey, <laughs> you look like that thing John was using to scrub us. Just call me Lufa. You guys are a long way from your bathtub. Yeah. Any idea how we get back to it? I don't, but I'll bet the mermaids do. They live on the other side of Shampoo Island, past the giant faucet waterfalls. I'll be your guide. And how are we supposed to follow you? You can paddle, can't you? <laughs> In my fantasy, not gonna happen. I've got a much better idea. Step on it, Lufa. John is baking lasagna, and I'd hate to miss it. Almost there. Uh, look, the giant faucet waterfalls. Over there, that's where the mermaids hang out. But beware of their singing. Hey, I know this legend. You should beware of mermaids singing because it's so beautiful, it will lure you to crash your ship on the rocks. Look. No, beware of it because they're just kind of lousy. Enough to make me give up seafood. We have visitors. Lofa, who are your friends? I'll introduce us. I'm Garfield. This is Zodi. And I'm huh? Nermal, the cutest cat on land or sea. Remind me to leave you out of my next fantasy. What brings you here? Oh, this Lofa hmm. fish told us you could help us find our way back home. Oh, sure. We know how to... Wait, huh? sister! Wait, you... it... We've discussed it. And we decided that we'll tell you how to get back to your tub. If you'll do something for us. Does it involve listening to you sing? No. Then we'll do uh, it. Our cove here is under siege. What? A terrible monster lurks about threatening all, scaring no. everyone away. Get rid of it, and we'll tell you how to get home. Just a terrible monster? And what exactly is this terrible monster? It's... it's a... Rubber Ducky! <laughs> right. How could a Rubber huh? Ducky hurt anyone? I have 
have an idea. Lufa, here's what I need you to do. You understand? Got it! Ah! Come on, Lufa, hurry! Oh. Showtime! <laughs> Thank you for getting rid of the rubber ducky. We never thought of using our singing to drive him away. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to have these seashell necklaces. And now we'll keep our promise. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you how to get back to your own bathtub. Come here. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Before you go... Would you like us to sing you a farewell song? No! no. But thanks anyway. And thanks to you, too, Lufa. Have a happy journey home, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a paw. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use, guys. We can't budget. Oh. Uh, hello? Can I help? Sure. Lend us your jaws. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Boy, that Liz really can get to talking sometimes. Huh? <gasps> I, I see someone unplugged the tub and let all the water out. But I guess you guys are clean. Huh? I'll go get some towels from the cupboard. Garfield, we're back! <sighs> Did any of that happen? <laughs> of course not. It was just a fantasy. And not a bad one, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh, I think the lasagna's ready. Odie, do you think any of that really happened? Okay. And how do you explain these? <laughs> I kind of like them. 